ต้นไม้แคมป์ proudly presents a Christmas surprise. Once upon a time, in the land of always winter, at Santa's village, in the North Pole, thousands of elves were working hard to bring toys and joy to children of the world. And in this village, there lived a woolly mammoth that helped carry the presents that the elves have made. There lived a saber-toothed tiger, and a penguin that has curiously turned rainbow. Legend says all Santas are born with a long and fluffy white beard, and all Santas also have a reindeer best friend. Wait, do kids actually have beards? To train to become Santa Claus, baby Santa must make sure to learn three very very important things. First of all, Santas need to be able to read the different children's letters from around the world in many different languages. In English, we say "Merry Christmas." What other languages do you see? Ho, ho, ho. Second, Santas need to learn how to make toys. From ponies to parrots, race cars to robots, Santas learn to make them all. If that present was for you this Christmas, what would you like it to be? Last but not least. Santas need to learn how to deliver presents to children all over the world in just one night. After their trip around the world, Elf Number Eleven T Twenty Five had a special bedtime story for the sleepy Santa and Rudolph. Legends speak of a long-lost crystal that contains a rainbow snowflake frozen in time. It is said that this crystal has magical powers and only appears on cold winters. Only and if only the treasure seekers could be kind and help three troubled friends in need, would the crystals appear. Many winters passed, and Santa finally became Santa Claus. One winter. Santa decided to go on an adventure. He remembered a certain story told by a certain elf, and wondered why, in all of his travels around the world, he never once found that special snowflake crystal. Santa told Rudolph, his trusted reindeer, "I'll be back by Christmas Eve," and off he went. <laughs> Rudolph patiently waited. But hours turned into days, and days turned into weeks. But Santa was nowhere to be seen. Who's going to be sending the presents this year? How many days are left till Christmas? Meanwhile, a ninja in need is a ninja indeed. Ninja Luku always looked forward to Christmas and hung up his socks every single year, but he never received any presents. Little did he know that ninja socks. Are invisible, so Santa knitted Ninja Luku and the entire Ninja Village bright, colorful socks. Chululu, an underwater celebrity that I'm sure you know, has always dreamed of seeing snow. But what do you guys think? Is there snow underwater? So Santa made a snow globe and dove deep into the deep sea. To give Chululu a white Christmas, Mrs. Unicorn always dreamed of a strawberry-scented slime. But her hooves aren't hands, and hooves can't make slime. So Santa gave her a magic potion that can turn rainbows, cupcakes, and diamonds into slime. And back at the North Pole, Rudolph was still worried. So he called Santa from their emergency-only phone. Santa, Santa, Rudolph, Rudolph, where are you? What? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, here. Look, look here, Rudolph. Wow! Snow started falling, and on the ground. Laid a bright and shiny rainbow snowflake crystal. After many adventures, Santa finally found what he's always been looking for. 
What did you think made the crystal appear? <laughs> it's starting to look a lot like Christmas. Rudolph called everyone to the Winky Falls for a Christmas Eve party amongst the snowflake flurries. Have a merry, merry Christmas! Ho ho ho! Hot chocolate! Hot chocolate! <laughs>